If you're in Philadelphia, don't wear a ski mask in public places, no matter how cold it is. The city just banned them for schools, daycare centers, recreation centers, and public transportation, with some exceptions for religious reasons. Here's what's driving the ski mask ban. That night of mass looting in September, when groups of mask-wearing burglars ransacked businesses across the city. CB Cotton is on the story for us. CB. Hi, Harris. Yeah, those backing the ski mask ban say for years, criminals have used the motto, no face, no case, knowing if they hid their identity, it'd be tougher to be caught. The Philadelphia City Council hoping to change that mentality with a new bill prohibiting ski masks on public transportation and inside school buildings, daycares, rec centers, and parks. Those caught wearing a mask face a $250 fine. That goes up to $2,000 if a mask is worn while a crime is committed. Council members say they've seen an uptick in people wearing these masks while committing crimes. In September, police releasing video of people looting several stores while wearing these masks. Dozens were later arrested. Now, opponents of the ban arguing that it will be selectively enforced, leading to mistrust between police and the community. I can't in good conscience um vote for something that I feel would further uh, criminalize and marginalize young black men in our city. Bill sponsor Councilman Anthony Phillips hoping the ban will help solve crimes, including several recent shootings committed by people wearing ski masks. The Philadelphia Police Department can't figure out who it is because they're wearing a bunch of ski masks and they can't do anything about it. The reality is that we have allowed for basic principles of safety to go on in a, a, a unrest mentioned the bill has exceptions including ones for religion and lawful first amendment activities such as protest councilman phillips saying he's ready to reevaluate if changes need to be made to fight against bad actors now harris the bill is now slated to head for the mayor's desk and could be signed into law sometime next week i want everybody to remember this if this government ever decides to mandate masking again for any of us Ski mask or otherwise, we'll just point to this. Uh, CB, thank you very much. Jason Rant, Seattle radio host and author of What is Killing America, a great book, by the way. You need to pick it up. So, Jason, no ski masks. Uh, so, <laughs> symbolically, I suppose I like this, but it's not really going to do anything. I mean, specifically, we're looking at images on the screen right now. Those kids who were wearing the masks going in were not breaking the law according to this new ban. Now, if they put on that ski mask while taking the bus or any sort of transit on the way, okay, I suppose they were. But the huh. idea that all of a sudden we're going to like get these kids that's just not what's going to happen it does send a message that the city of philadelphia is going to take this considerably more seriously and i do like the idea that if you are in fact caught while wearing a mask breaking the law that you will get hit with an additional penalty i do think that that can be a little bit more of a disincentive but at the end of the day you don't have enough cops to enforce the law you don't have mm. a prosecutor who's going to enforce the law and you're probably not going to catch these kids wearing a mask up until the moment that they actually break the law. Yeah, you know, it is indicative of just how wild and out of control things have gotten uh, in the criminal lane for this particular city yeah. and, and some other blue cities across the country. Uh, and so if they've gotten to this point, why don't they identify the people who aren't masking? I mean, we, we have riot situations. We've had all sorts of, of things happen. And we're told when we ask, well, why was only one person arrested? I mean, clearly you can see who some of these people are with or without a mask ban. Yeah, and generally when you do end up making any of these arrests, you realize that they're prolific criminals, that this was not the first time that they decided to break the law. Mm. But what you have there, and the council member who made the point of, well, I think this is going to be selectively targeting black men, why would that be the case? Unless you're telling me that only black men are the ones wearing masks and breaking the law. Oh. It's a weirdly racist position that she's taking. Mm. But the fact of the matter is, yeah, it's true that if you're wearing one of these masks, you are likely breaking the law. You're not on a ski slope. Wow, that's a really good point.